Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the different changes that Microsoft is rolling out on Windows 11, Bill 27858 and the Canary channel. Okay, let's dive into the changes. But before we start, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. It is free and it really helps to support the channel and my work. Also, check my website for more tutorials and tech news. Okay, first, in this release, Microsoft is finally rolling out Click To Do in the Canary channel. So, Click To Do it's an AI feature that analyzes the content on the screen that you can take actions on. So here's the feature right here, and we can select some text, and then we can right click on it and access the different actions. I'm not gonna go too much into details on this feature because I do have a full tutorial on click to do. So check the video link in the description for more information. Also, another thing that you can do is on the settings tab, you can go to the apps section, and from here, you're going to find this actions page that would allow you to control some of the AI actions that are available when using click to do. Now, if we go to privacy and security, you will also find a page to control click to do. However, in the Canary channel, that page is still a work in progress and it's not working. It's important to note that this feature is available for all Copilot Plus PCs. Now, Bill 27A58 also includes the new semantic indexing feature, which is an AI integration into the Windows search that allows you to search file settings and other contents depending on the interface that you're on using natural language. For example, right here on File Explorer, I can do a search, for example, for like bear. And I know I do have a picture of a bear that I created with AI. And what semantic indexing is doing right now is looking into the actual image and not just relying on the metadata or the image file. It's important to know that semantic indexing is across all the different Windows components where you use search, which that can be search in the taskbar on File Explorer and even on the settings app. One thing that I wanted to point out now that we're here in the File Explorer app is that the company is adding improvements to scale text properly using the text size option. And that option actually is available through the settings app. More specifically, if we go to accessibility and then if we go to text size. So now when using this option, the dialog boxes for open, save, and other type of dialogs, the scale setting will apply correctly. Microsoft is also updating the icons that you place on the desktop. So let's say now if we place this icon right here, we're going to notice that icons are larger and we're no longer going to see a back plate using the color accent of the computer. On this preview, the company is also updating the taskbar. And now on the system tray, you're going to find an option to open the emoji panel. And this is just another way to open this interface because you can already use different shortcuts and you can control this from the taskbar settings. As you can see right here on the system tray icons section, you're going to find a new emoji and more setting and you can set it to never and that will disable that option on the system trade. You can use always. So the button to open that panel will always show in the taskbar, but you can also use it while typing. So that means that the button to open the emoji panel will remain hidden. And when you open an application such as Notepad, you're going to see that button appear on the bottom right corner. Now, also in the Canary channel, if we go to the settings tab, more specifically to the system section, we're going to find a new AI components page. However, this is already available on other channels. This is just new on the Canary channel. And if you have a Copilot Plus PC, you're going to find all the AI components installed on your computer. And finally, if we go to the accessibility section for the settings app, and then we go to the mouse pointer and touch page, we're going to find that on this preview, the company is bringing the customized pointer image settings to the settings app. And this allows you to change the image for each state of the mouse pointer. In addition to these changes, Microsoft is also pushing some fixes and you can read everything about this bill with a link in the video description. And that's it. Those are pretty much all the most important changes that we're going to find on Windows 11 bill 27A50A in the Canary channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.